A slight departure from the normal video making um, for this review. That's not to say that these products won't be of interest to anyone doing video, because anyone doing digital video these days needs lots and lots of hard disk storage, and these are hard disk enclosures. And by enclosures, I literally mean there is no hard disk inside them. It's the box into which you would put a hard disk. And you might say, well, why not just buy one with the hard disk in it? Fair point, but if you have spare hard disks kicking around, like this one, I took out of an old laptop that I've upgraded to a solid state drive. Now that leaves me with um, this perfectly usable, albeit quite small capacity, it's about 60 gigabytes um, hard drive. I don't want to throw it away, and if I can just put it into a little enclosure and turn it into a portable hard drive, well, that's given me a new portable hard drive for less cost than actually buying you know, a drive already in a box, as it were. Um, so these are from ITCEO, not a brand I particularly know of. I must be honest, lots of Chinese writing on the back, and it says that ITCEO is a registered trademark of the Zhongyang Hang Corp. I probably pronounced that very wrong, with apologies to anyone Chinese listening. Let's try that again. Zhongyang Hang Corporation. Um, either way, uh, it's a box here for a two and a half inch drive and a box here for a three and a half inch um, drive. So let's stop nattering and get them out and have a look at this one. So there we go. Um, there's the enclosure itself, nice and lightweight, very slim line. And then underneath, what have we got here? We have USB cables. This is actually a um, USB 3 um, device. So basically it takes your hard drive, which will be SATA, serial ATA, and converts it into a USB drive. So um, there's a USB slot there, you see, into which that bit will go. And there's the USB into which it will plug at the computer end. I'll pop that over there. In fact, get rid of the box. Oh, look, we've got... Uh, a little pouch to put it in. Not the most sophisticated of things, but you know, a nice little bonus. And then also a brief quick start guide. It says, stick your drive in the enclosure. For help on this, check out the website. However, we won't bother checking out the help, we'll just have a go. So there is the unit. And I've got my old drive here, and this just slots into that and turns it into a little portable drive. Um, so let's open it up. Uh, how do we do that? There's a little button here. It doesn't actually say how to open it up. That's because I need to read the instructions on the website. But let's assume that we press that. Hold on, it must be possible to open this up. There we go. Come on. There we go. Uh, the top half, just the top half, and in the bottom half, you see the little um, serial ATA mounting. Any electronics, there will be a little bit of electronics in there that turns it into USB. So all being well, I can just slide this drive in. Now, I should point out, of course, that if you're doing this properly, you should be earth to ground, wearing a, a wrist strap that earths you to something. I have just touched a radiator, which is itself earth to ground, so I'm hoping that will do the trick. Otherwise, you run the risk of blowing up your hard drive with static electricity, and that's not to be advised. So, let's see which way that's going to go. A little connector, bigger connector, a little connector, bigger connector. This should just slide in, hopefully. Famous last words. I'm not sure that's going to go. Oh, no, there we go. Look at that. And we're in. Well, that was fairly straightforward. And hopefully I haven't broken it in the process. So we'll um, stick that back together. Just clicks on. And there you go. Now, I just had a read of the instructions. And they're saying that uh, the reason it's got two USBs here is so as to ensure that your drive gets enough power. They actually suggest you plug both of these into USB slots on your computer to make sure that the drive gets enough 
oomph. I would imagine you could try it with the one, and if it doesn't work, then plug in the other one as well. So that's the smaller of the two drives. The bigger one, much the same thing, but obviously it's designed to a three and a half inch drives, the kind you might take out of an old PC. I know that when I've um, scrapped a PC in the past, uh, they've had hard drives in them. It seems a shame to throw them out. So you buy enclosures like these, as you can see, it's the same thing, but on a bigger scale, you've got uh, an eSATA interface there, and uh, a power, it needs separate power, and it comes with a little UK plug mains adapter. That will go into the end there. What do we think about the construction of these? Um, I mean, it's plastic, it's solid enough. You're probably not going to be throwing these around. I would imagine one this size you might install as an external drive, but you may not take around with you. The little one's probably more of a portable unit, but um, it's probably all right. It's not got any sort of shock mounting inside the case, so I probably wouldn't want to throw it around too much, but it's probably not too bad. There's a little stand there, so that you know when you've put all this together, you can slot the drive in and it'll just stand like that so that's fine what else have we got cables again so there you go there's your usb and also that's your eSATA cable i think eSATA being the external sata or serial ata Interface. I think eSATA goes at something like 3 gigabits, is that right? And I think USB 3 travels at something like 5 gigabits. So it used to be that eSATA was the state of the art. Now it's... Um, come along, come along, let's open them up. Now it's USB 3 or Thunderbolt if you've got a Mac, I suppose. Why doesn't this want to open? Ah, there we go. I'm opening the wrong end of it, that's why. So again, the lid just comes off by pressing the button. It, it's easier than I'm making it look. It's just because I haven't done this before, so I'm being a bit careful with it. Bit of electronics down the end that turns it into USB or eSATA. And your hard drive literally just slides in there. Now, previous enclosures I've had have included some screw holes on the side where you take the screws out of the drive that were holding it in place and screw them into here to hold it firm. This one does not have that, and I'm presuming that, like the little one, it is designed such that the drive just slots in and is held in place by virtue of the enclosure being just the right size for it. And there you go. Now I'll take the uh, little one that I've just put the hard disk into, we'll power it up and see if it's recognised on my laptop. Well, in fact, I plugged it into my desktop PC rather than the laptop and everything behaved as it should. Windows 7 spotted the drive straight away and it appeared on the desktop with no problem. I did have to plug in both USB cables to power my old drive. It wasn't worth doing any speed tests on the interface because the drive's very old and slow anyway, so it wouldn't really prove anything. Whilst it works OK, I would say you'd better be sure you want to put your drive in the case because trying to get it out again afterwards is incredibly fiddly and you are likely to break it. There are two slightly recessed gaps in the case for you to try to grip the drive with your fingertips, but it's very hard to pull it out. So you might try taking the other side of the case off as well and pushing the drive upwards slightly. But whichever way you do it, you've got to be really careful because the drive is still attached to the case's circuit board while you're pushing it clear. So that means you're slightly flexing the circuit board and it is easy to break, as I found to my cost. You can see the USB connector here has come away from the board and the LEDs moved a bit as well. Opening the case is also a bit fiddly. That push button on the top doesn't pop out the sides, it just releases them for you to pull off with your fingernails. As for the big case, it is slightly easier to open, by virtue really of being bigger, not because it's designed any differently. Snapping it shut again takes a little practice, there is certainly a knack to it. 
Putting the drive in is easy enough, though the internal circuit board flexes a little as you push the drive home, so I found it comforting to hold the board with one finger while pushing the drive against it. Getting the drive out is as fiddly as with the little one, as there's no easy way to grasp it unless, again, you take the other side off as well. And again, you're bending the circuit board connector as you pull it upwards. Now, granted, the idea isn't that the drives are removable as a matter of course. You wouldn't be doing this regularly by any stretch of the imagination. But the drive could fail and you'd want to swap it, so having easy access is something I look for in an enclosure. As with the little one, once it was installed, the drive was recognised by the PC instantly and with no issues, and it only got as hot as any other drive enclosure I own, so no worries there. So in conclusion then, what to think of these drive enclosures? Well, they are very inexpensive, they cost just a few pounds each, and they certainly do the job. When I plugged them into my Windows PC, the drives appeared on the desktop, I could read and write to them without any problem at all. I must confess, I didn't try them on a Macintosh, but I presume they would work equally well. There are two caveats I would say about these enclosures. The first is that they are very much um, fit and forget. If you're the kind of person who likes to be popping drives in and out of enclosures and mucking about with them all the time, these probably aren't the ones for you. You want really to put the drive in here, snap the enclosure back together and then leave it for infinity until the drive dies because it's just too fiddly getting the drive back out again and you are potentially liable to snap something because it's just fitted in there so tightly. And secondly, with respect to the uh, the smaller one, the portable one, um, although it is portable, I'm very nervous about taking drives out and about. Disk drives are fragile little things and certainly I only ever like to take ruggedized drives out and that means lots of uh, sort of rubberized padding around the corners of the enclosure and inside a sort of soft gel surrounding the drive itself so that if you do drop it, it's got a bit of bounce protection on it. Now this doesn't have any of that. That's not a fault per se. It just means that I wouldn't be comfortable taking this out um, unless I treated it very gently and perhaps put it in a, a padded bag or something. Um, but for plugging into your PC, if you have a two and a half inch drive or with the bigger one, three and a half inch drive and leaving it plugged in, absolutely fine and certainly uh, quite a cost-effective way of doing it. So from that respect, I have no complaints with these at all. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you liked it, a little click on that like button is very much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, why not click on that big inviting red subscribe button as well and never miss another video on the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.